Summer went away and still the yearning state. Any Swifty out there is likely to know that those are the words that make up the opening line of You're On Your Own Kid from Taylor Swift's album Midnight's. While Taylor and her Eras Tour are still having a major moment, Swift has brought back a summer camp staple, the friendship bracelet. While it may be cabin fever week here on Kelloland Living, that doesn't mean we can't wistfully look ahead to the warmer weather. And to help us put us in that summer state of mind is owner and chief cookie creative of Big Tails Bakery, Stacy Sudkamp. Thank you. Stacy's taking a note from Miss Swift and her Swifties and showing us how to make adorable friendship bracelet cookies. So <sighs> we can take Swift's lyrics, so make the friendship bracelets, take the moment and taste it in the most literal sense. Love that. Wow. Taste it. Love that line. I yeah. do. This is perfect. This okay. is exciting. And and this is also, you're also teaching us a, a technique that we could really use for anything. I've not seen this before. Oh, yeah. So um, one of the things that um, has been big with this friendship bracelet and Taylor Swift movement mm -hmm. is making the um, icing dots look like the friendship bracelet beads. So I'm going to show you how easy that is. Okay. You just need little slips of parchment paper okay. and right. some white icing. Okay. okay. Um, and really, you just are going to make dots. And you're not going to try and make them flat because we're going to flatten them out with another piece of icing or another paper. piece of parchment paper. Okay. So not wax paper. You want to make sure that it's parchment That's what paper. I want to know. Yep. Okay, you, you start showing. So wax paper is going to um, stick in a different way, and it tends to ripple when it gets wet, and parchment paper doesn't. So you're going to notice this is a little bit thicker icing than what we normally use. Okay. So you just make dots as evenly as you can, and you'll notice on the ones that I've already done, some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. And then you're just going to take another sheet of icing or parchment Part paper. You're gonna smack that right on top. Now, why, okay, I would have, my my instinct would have been to go to wax because I would have felt like it was slipperier. So that these would be mine too. Yeah, these will pop right off, but wax paper is um, thin yeah. and thinner than parchment paper, so it really will start to ripple. And parchment paper already ripples a little bit too. Okay. I'll be honest, I thought they were the same, so I'm learning something <laughs> yeah. today. Yeah, you gotta keep those straight. You can't put the wax paper in the yeah, oven. Wax right, paper no. Oven, big, <laughs> mess. big mess. <laughs> so these you'll wanna plan ahead on because these will need to dry. If you don't have a dehydrator or a dehydrator setting on your oven, you wanna let them dry overnight. Okay. So that they're perfectly dry. Um, and then you'll get a nice little sandwich of These. Um, little dots I love this. and you're just you just peel the parchment paper off oops and if it if it does pull off like that not done not so done. if you want to pull it off and see but you want it to have be nice and flat yeah um, and like that's these what, are here yep. so you guys both have sets and so you just write on that so okay you want to grab edible markers so you can pick these up at ideal Walmart, Hobby Lobby. Um, you could also try and paint on with a nice thin paintbrush. You mm -hmm. could try and use icing, but it's so tiny, you'd have to be really, really particular. So, I hear you, I hear you. Um, the easiest way to do is it- Is to write on it like that? Is to write on it before you take your um, dots off. Before you take and them off. And if you want to, you could start on the dots. It's sure. so easy sure. to do a bracelet. Yep. So um, think of it as an oval rather than a circle, but you can make it as big or as little as you want. Sure. And it doesn't have to just be circles. Okay. You could do squares, you could do whatever shapes you want. Okay. Now that I have the my my message on here. Yep. So you're gonna use the frosting, the white frosting, to kind of glue those in place. So you could set it out so that it's in shape. These were iced about an hour and a half ago. Okay. So the icing is set. So if you put your dot on here, it's not gonna mess up the icing underneath. And, and that's can... gonna be important too, because if you have wet icing and you try to put the letters on, they'll kind of sink down into it. Got it. Got it, got oh, it. Oh, I'm so excited. These so you are, every time you hear, you're here, first. I'm just like, yep. I can't even. So I always think, too, the lettering on the bottom is the easiest way to kind of do it. Mm -hmm. And if you pull your icing dots off and you've pulled the centers out, if they weren't quite done, I actually brought this in because, you know, I'm a big fan of use what you've got. You can still pull these off even though they're missing their middles. And fill it in or what? Yep, and fill oh, it in. Oh, I hear you. I'm gonna grab one of your white icing. Sure. So sure, easiest go. way to do that, Mitchell, is if you flip it over and you pull the paper off of the back versus trying to pull the little tab off of it, if that makes sense. Oh, I gotcha. Yep, I, I almost I almost ruined one I thought by doing it the wrong way. So do it perfect. like this. Okay. Indeed. 
I'm just so um, focused on this. I know. Like, I, I get into my focus movement. Silence. I do love when you when it gets quiet because that means you guys are concentrating really so hard. So hard. <laughs> and it's such an easy, fun project. Right. So you could, if you've got really little ones, you could write out their names ahead of time. This is perfect for some uh, fine motor skills and. Um, testing there. You can pick up sprinkles of all sorts of shapes and sizes too. It doesn't just have to be dots. So I made a couple little batches of stars here that you could fl flip oh, on. Oh, that's such a fun oh, idea. Yeah. As well. Um, and you can do sprinkles ahead of time too, there. just like we did with the circles. Now I want to come in and fill in my and dots. fill in with your dots, yep. This is and so much fun. I'm filling in with my dots too, so you just oh, keep going with dots. What did that you right? write, Mitchell? Like a... I just did M&M. M&M. Oh, that's cute. Mitchell and Mark. Yeah. You know, Aww. so. Okay, so then I go around the whole thing with just dots. Is just that what you're dots. saying? Yep, and okay. if they've got little tiny oh, wow, points on it, colors. yes, all sorts of colors. Oh, so this is please. a fun one. Oh, as we're. <laughs> we're taking off. As we're leaning into the <laughs> We're project. so into this. We're so um, into it, we're moving the table. So if you've got little peaks on it, you can take your finger and just dab those down if they're for family. If you're going to try and give these to somebody else, you can take a little paintbrush, dip sure. it in a little bit of water, and that's going to knock those points down so that it's not sharp. I, I like that pro tip of like, listen, if these are not for you, <laughs> right, please do right, not right. If these are not Otherwise. for you, you the, the finger trick, maybe skip. <laughs> okay, let's, while we're so focused so on perfect. this, tell us about yeah. your upcoming class. Yes. So I got a Valentine's Day class at Buffalo Ridge Brewing in Hartford. It's going to be a super fun class. That one's always a good time. Yeah. Um, the crew at Buffalo Ridge has a beautiful space. Is your mom um, going to be there? My mom is not going to oh. be there. I know. That was the last one, and she's quite the riot. So <laughs> That's um, exciting. she loves it. The ones that my dad comes to is also very fun because he takes it. He he gets like this. He gets serious and into it. Oh, just really? like us. Oh yeah. Yeah, just like <laughs> yeah. I, I turn quiet. I just am like so focused on it. Like I just love What's it. What's funny is that I I mean I've got a sister that's a physician's assistant, one that's a doc or one that's a an attorney, one that's a music therapist, yeah. and they have so much fun coming to work with me. Because they get to take something home that's delicious. You pick the best well, that's job true for sure. Too. We pick pretty good ones because we get to have you here. Right? What do you and don't think? forget, I these think are it. so delicious, these cookies. They're cute. That is the best part of all Mine these cookies. Mine says I love you. So good. Thank you. Yours that's my favorite you, compliment. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay. How cute. Well, Something that you definitely could use to occupy the kids for a while. And Thank me. Thank you so much for being here, Stacey.